Good morning, everyone. 30 day challengers, people of the internet, people of the data world. Um, I'm being a little bit quiet today. Number one, I'm uh, tell them a little bit scratchy. I don't know. Hopefully, I haven't picked up the uh, sickness that's been dogging my wife for a couple of weeks. But uh, yeah, so today is the day. This is when we get to really test out the process. I'm not really testing too much other than. <laughs> my ability to uh, fail a test, which I probably could pass if I put some effort into it. But this is the process. This is the what I want to vet and what I want to understand, basing it off of some lessons learned from ultra learning. So it's kind of a meta thing. I've learned lessons from a book on learning. Neat. And I'm going to develop a process for learning more complex things than the test that I'm taking today, which is a Tableau desktop certification. So y'all ready to fail this test with me? Now, the, the lessons learned here and the things that I want to transfer are, I am honing my learning process. I am choosing to get this test twice because I feel like it's that important for me to figure out that learning process and the ability to burn hot learn skills, kind of hammer them home. Birds chirping outside my window. It's quite early on a Saturday morning. But to develop this process for ultra learning and for doing a 30 day challenge and for hammering home a, a set of skills that I can apply. And so this is not just a get a certificate, get a piece of paper for me. This is a developing a better process for building skills. And in the bargain, by me buying the test twice, getting the, the fail test or the forward test, and then using that to guide. Going to be able to better advise the people that follow me and watch my content. And so what I'm looking forward to is being able to give these things to, to all of the people that that follow me. Um, and so with that, it is getting up to the time I've run my system test. Um, you have to go into Pearson view. It's a, it's a Salesforce test. They have a proctor and everything, the whole nine yards. So I've run my system test. Everything's good on my beat up old laptop. The one that I usually do my, uh, my, my videos filming on. And so, yeah, when we're going to pause the recording here, I'll go in, fail my test. I'm going to come out. My plan is to immediately brain dump everything I can remember. I've got a notepad set up right outside the room, a couple of pens and pencils. And I'm just going to sit there for like 10 minutes and unload everything I can remember. And then after that, I'll come back in here. I'll record a little bit more and then um, hopefully post this maybe tomorrow. And we'll see. We'll see what's what. Hopefully, I don't screw up and pass this test. All right, folks, see you on the back side. All right, let's go. Failed my test. All good. That was the plan. I've never been so happy to, uh, to bomb something. Anyway, all right. So, all systems go. Um, I'm going to spend this next week. Well, right now, I'm going to go uh, continue brain dumping. I'm going to go take a run clear my head and um yeah then this week the plan is to plan and i'm going to build a study plan i didn't really actually fail it by that much and I probably did tank a handful of questions that i could have got right but um yeah so this is the process i'm going to build a plan to pass this test i'm going to get out there and find free assets that i can recommend to the audience to go and pass the test themselves without having to take the initial attempt like I did. And, you know, all in accordance with the rules and strictures that uh, Tableau gave me. So I'm not allowed to sit here and recite test questions to you. But I think I can tell you, hey, here are the things that the test focuses on. And, you know, when I design a study plan for myself to address my deficiencies, I can pass that along to you and you can use that as a study plan to pass the test yourselves. And so that, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do going forward. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to take a run, come back, maybe do some final thoughts, and then we'll uh, 
put this video out tomorrow. All right, catch you later. Okay, so I'm back after the Ohio State game and after a nice long run and you know most of the day, and I'm here to recap the test. So I'm not going to tell you exactly, because I'm not allowed to, I'm not going to tell you exactly what the questions were. And honestly, I don't remember them word for word anyway. I do have enough of a recall to put together a study study plan. So there's a lot of, in the test, it's a lot of clickology. It's a lot of data input and output. So file types, you're bringing in files. On what level are they coming in? Um, like as you're bringing them in, how do they how do they join together? So if you're doing joins, if you're doing relationships, if you're in the data pane and you're connecting different sources of data together, how do they relate to each other? A lot of questions on that. Um, what else? Um, on the output side, making dashboards, making stories. What is the purpose of stories? What are the purpose of dashboards? How do you get things kind of together? What kind of visualizations can you output? Um, there were questions on how to make certain simple visualizations. So when you, you know, what is going to automatically make a line graph? What are the measures and dimensions required to make certain graphs? Um, what else was there? A lot of things on filters. A lot of things on how to edit certain things in visualizations um how to make a scatter plot there were various visualizations as far as it would say what do you need in the measures what do you need in the dimensions as a, at a minimum to make this visualization so we got to focus on that um groups and aliases groups is not something you know i wasn't trying super hard to pass this test however there were definitely certain things where I said, okay, I'm not, I'm not actually super knowledgeable about this in general. Groups and aliases, definitely two things where I said, hey, this is something that I need to focus on. Um, so that's there. What else? I'm looking at some, some very kind of scattered notes. Okay, data types. Data types was a big thing. And I know that this is something in the micro-credentials for Alteryx. Data types comes up a ton. How do you convert from one data type to another? How do you go from a measure to a dimension and back again? What, when you make something is a date, you know, how do you parse something out of a date? Um, yeah, so different types of data types is key. Really a lot of administrative stuff, use of different visualizations, couple questions on, you know, what was the best use of a particular visualization? How to adjust different things in like the marks tab, in the shelves, in the, um, yeah, in the columns and rows, shelves. How do you, how do you adjust different things um, in the marks? How do you adjust different marks? Um, and so just stuff on that. And so there's a lot of administrative things. What are the different ways, different ways you can sort? Um, what is the best thing to put in the header? So yeah, really just administrative stuff, input, output, how to make visualizations. There's no practical application in this test. That, that shouldn't be a surprise to anybody, but that means that the multiple choice, the, an, the right answer is always going to be there. There were quite a few single answer, multiple choice. Most of the questions were that way. I would say two thirds, maybe three quarters were single answer, multiple choice. There were quite a few maybe 10 out of 45 questions were multiple answer multiple choice and they specify they specify precisely how many right answers there are so it says select two of the following five select three of the following five um and i felt like those were kind of the easier questions if it says you've got three right answers here that's pretty easy. That's easier than finding one out of four, finding three out of five. Maybe that's just me. Okay. Um, so going forward, 
the game plan. Within the next couple of days, I'm going to put together a game plan. It is going to be entirely constructed of free assets. But I say that with a, with a caveat. It is going to be entirely constructed of free assets for the month of November 2023. Okay. So that is your incentive to do this 30-day challenge and to pass this test. Okay. I have two e-learning platforms, major, major, major e-learning platforms that are offering a free giveaway during November and they don't run concurrently. That's the super cool thing. So there's one, we're going to have to sort out something for the first week of November, November, which I'll talk about. There is a major e-learning platform that is going to give away their whole platform for free from November 6th to the 20th, 21st, somewhere around there. So the middle two weeks of November, all free. That's amazing. Some of you in the know can probably figure out who it is. There is a major, major e-learning platform has already announced, which I'll talk about when I put together the plan, but they are giving away a free week at the tail end of that. So it's going to be like the last week of November. So honestly, we've got three weeks of free, like quality e-learning content that we're going to be able to access during that 30 days. So 21 of the 30 days is going to be all free regularly paid learning content. So I'm going to put together a study plan with that content. We're just going to have to figure out something for the first week, which is probably going to be put together from Alex Freeberg's stuff on YouTube, probably Donna Bell Santos, um, uh, SQL Bell, those of you that go by the, the call sign or the hashtag, but uh, Donna Bell Santos, there's a couple of different YouTube creators that just put out so much content that We'll be able to start on that for one week, two weeks on this other e-learning platform whose name I can't reveal just yet, and then a week on the last one, and then we're on the home stretch, and we are all going to get ready to pass this test at the end of November. So if you're with us, awesome. Um, if not, hey, you know, after the fact, you can do a lot of this, but those e-learning platforms are not going to be given these free giveaways after November. So you, this is really going to be time sensitive. You really need to get in on this 30 day challenge during November, pass this test, and then we will work something out for next year. We're going to ramp this up and, and take the difficulty to a whole new level. Um, so, but this challenge is going to be very available to everybody and I highly recommend everybody get in on it. Okay. I'm going to try and get this video done in under 15 minutes. And so I got our stop running my mouth, but I'm very excited about this. Everybody, um, I've never been so happy to fail a test. And let's all get in on this. November, we are going to get the Tableau desktop certification knocked out. See you there.